Reports of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations have been the lowest here in the Wiregrass since the start of the pandemic. But with the BA.2 variant accounting for more than 50% of all COVID cases here in the U.S., state medical experts want Alabamians to know that COVID is nowhere close to being over. As people go into any holiday, any gathering setting, anytime when people are together in, in close quarters, what they need to understand is what's going on in their community, in their county, who they're around and their risk factors and whether or not they, those people have been vaccinated. At this time, BA.2 cases make up 86% of all COVID-19 cases in the U.S. And across the South, those cases make up close to 75% of all new coronavirus infections, which is why Stubblefield believes if you are sick with COVID-19 right now, you are more than likely to be infected with the BA.2 variant. We do screen certain specimens for um, for the variants and what we're finding is that that variant level has gone up and up. Even with the BA.2 variant taking over the original Omicron variant, COVID-19 levels in Alabama are low. The state's COVID-19 positivity rate is 2.8 percent, with all counties in the Wiregrass having a positivity rate lower than 2 percent. However, state experts are monitoring a possible increase of cases due to the BA.2 variant. It, the numbers are consistent day to day in terms of the number of new cases, the percent positivity, uh, the number of people in the hospital. Those have all been pretty consistent over the last few weeks. So COVID is still here. It is still infecting people. Despite low levels of COVID in Alabama, state medical experts say if you are at high risk or prone to severe illness, it's important that you keep up with CDC guidelines, especially throughout this upcoming holiday weekend. Reporting from outside of Southeast Health, Alex Valdez, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.